A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, November 15th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The job market in the building trades is hot with several projects under construction in the Hudson Valley and others on the drawing boards. Alan Seidman, president of the Construction Contractors Association of the Hudson Valley, predicts anyone who's qualified and wants a job can get one. Locally, um, anybody that's vaccinated is going to be working. Uh, we, we still have a little bit of an issue with the, the vaccines. Some of the job sites are requiring all workers on the job sites to be vaccinated. So for those jobs, we may end up having to import from other regions. But locally, uh, we've got some big projects coming up in 2022 and beyond. And the trades here are going to be fully employed. The new federal infrastructure legislation will add millions to the Hudson Valley for upgrades to existing public service projects while providing funds for new ones. The city of Beacon wants to diversify the ranks of its police department by offering extra pay for bilingual candidates. City Administrator Chris White says they want the police force to be more representative of the city's population and visitors. Like other departments in the Hudson Valley, we're trying to attract Uh, diverse candidates for our police department and bilingual candidates. And we had hoped that having an incentive of of a thousand dollar annual stipend uh, might help uh, new candidates choose to come to work to the city of Beacon. Beacon's authorized level of sworn officers is 35 with five vacancies currently. Of the existing personnel, there are two African-American officers and four Latinos. The department also has two female officers. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Hours after four Newburgh City Police officers were promoted in a City Hall ceremony, the department began investigating another shooting. This time, a man walked into Montefiore St. Louis Cornwall Hospital with a gunshot wound late Friday. He's the 27th person to have been shot in that city this year. Following the promotional ceremony and before the latest shooting, Police Chief Anthony Girassi said crime fighting in Newburgh takes a joint effort by law enforcement and the community. I think what we're trying to do, I know what we're trying to do, is build trust and legitimacy within the community. Let them know who we are, lose that sense of anonymity, and really gain that trust in the community where they're able to speak to us freely and openly. Uh, We have to co-produce public safety. In many cases of gun violence, the victims are unwilling to cooperate with the police, and investigators are hoping to change that mindset. The COVID-19 vaccination requirement for students attending SUNY Sullivan will remain in effect in the spring semester and college officials expect no resistance from students. That may be slightly different among staff, though. College President Jay Quaintance said administration is negotiating with the Professional Staff Association and Teamsters. We have very few folks who are not vaccinated. I want to say there's no more than eight or nine right now of faculty and staff who are not vaccinated. But as you can imagine, those eight or nine are pretty vocal in their resistance. And so we're really trying to figure out a way to be as accommodating as possible while still maintaining the high standards for health and safety that we have been very fortunate to be able to maintain during this pandemic. Quentin says there's been no transmission of the virus on the campus. State Senator James Scoofus will collect canned goods at his Newburgh office for a Thanksgiving giveaway in collaboration with Life Restoration Church. Now through November 18th, folks can drop off unneeded canned items at Scoofus' 47 Grand Street location. The collection will be distributed at a Thanksgiving giveaway on Saturday, November 20th, held at Life Restoration Church 136 First Street in Newburgh from 11 to 2. Stay updated with local news all day online 
At MidHudsonNews.com, I'm Hank Gross.